The GeekWire team is here at Alibaba Yunxi, China's largest IT conference. This is the home of Alibaba founder Jack Ma. We're standing on the edge of Westlake. Behind me, the Li Feng Tower, with sweeping views of Hangzhou. Intel and Alibaba are partnering on new cloud technologies that are powering immersive media experiences for the upcoming 2020 Olympics. Together, they are reshaping smart manufacturing with IoT and revolutionizing the way enterprises utilize IT resources through new hybrid cloud solutions with the Spera Stack Alliance. From ping pong with an Olympian to powering the 2020 Olympic Games using Intel technologies, Intel is partnering with Alibaba on the compute power to process high volumes of data and the technology to create and deliver immersive media. One of the big announcements to come out of Alibaba Yunxi is the Absera Stack Alliance. This partnership between Alibaba Cloud and Intel allows customers here at the Innovation Center on Cloud Town to try out the products, the Intel hardware and the Alibaba software before they buy. Alibaba is taking the public cloud technologies and they will provide that experience to on-prem, small, medium, large um, enterprises who may not want to go onto that public cloud or to public cloud in general. Um, they're now taking those technologies on-prem for them. Uh, we call it the Absara Stack Alliance. Uh, Absara Stack is uh, a, a kind of deployment way that could deploy Alibaba Cloud into customer data center. We can support very large computing scenario for customer. It has proved uh, performance, pr proved the security, proved uh, uh, reliability. Intel Xeon, uh, not only the CPUs, but storage and networking. Alibaba Cloud uh, implement a lot of um, Intel infrastructure to build uh, the, the best value. This is an innovation center that our customers try their products before they buy, and Sarah Stack is running in here live. How are you working together to help your customers? We have a very good what we announced today with Alibaba was collaboration between our two companies of software and, and compute assets to really create an edge platform aligned with AliCloud to enable a whole new ecosystem of developers to be uh, uh, created and nurtured to go solve those problems. So it's a big announcement for us. We've just begun that journey. We, we started this collaboration last November. We've demonstrated it now in multiple factories and now we're making it more broadly available to the ecosystem. Intel, they, they, they provide very good technology. Intel's total solution provides the best performance we work together, provide best value to customer. Inside the Intel booth, a variety of technologies are being displayed at this data pong tournament. A few moments ago, I had the opportunity to play against an Olympic speed skater. Hi, Gigwire. I'm Fan Kexin. So, a couple of announcements that are that came out. One is the announcement of the OBS Cloud, a partnership between Alibaba and OBS, to start doing all that broadcast distribution through the cloud instead of doing it everything on site at their IBC, as they call it. The second part is the announcement of the collaboration and MOU between uh, Alibaba and Intel to leverage the OBS cloud in understanding and collaborating on how we are creating and distributing all of these new immersive experiences. If you look at how the games runs over the years, the most important asset for any games is how consumers like us consume the digital content. So by working with the broadcasters, or OBS in this case, we are trying to innovate and create interesting content, the ease of consumption, and make it more accessible to more audience throughout the world. You need to fundamentally think differently of how you capture reality, how you distribute, and how you create new experiences for the fans at the other end. And now you have a, an equation that can potentially change the world by using virtual reality and volumetric content, and use those technologies of cloud and 5G and distribution, and the experience on the front, on the user side to fundamentally change how people experience sports. Intel has very immersive VR uh, applications that we are moving and working together to make sure it runs perfectly on the cloud. And as we go on, you know, the televisions that you use to watch the games on is going to get obsolete. We are looking at mobile devices, we are looking at immersive VR experience without the headsets, and all this experience is going to come to life in Tokyo. So this is where OBS Cloud comes in. What specifically will you be able to do in 2020 in Tokyo that you maybe weren't quite able to do in Pyeongchang in 2018? There are going to be specific events and sports that we're going to cover with volumetric capture capability, which essentially allows a, a fan 
to be on the field during the game and watch basketball from the top of the key or from mid-court and stand there and look around as if you're there. That capability we are going to bring to Tokyo. We've learned about an exciting new partnership between Alibaba and Intel to bring immersive experience to the Olympic Games in the cloud. We've checked in on the latest of Internet of Things, and we've taken a look at the Abspara Stack Alliance. Lots of exciting news here at Alibaba's Yunxi Conference. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you next time. Check out all of our videos at geekwire.com shift. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, and don't forget to comment. We want to hear from you. We'll see you soon.